bless the water through which Andrea will be, will be baptized. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, almighty God, for the gift of water. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water, you led the children of Israel out of, bap out of their bondage in Egypt to the land of promise. In water, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through death and resurrection from the bondage of sin to everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death, and by it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who are here cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. I invite you all to please rise. And let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? Believe in God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. Will you seek to serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Will you strive to safeguard the integrity of God's creation and respect, sustain, and renew the life of the earth. Having renewed our baptismal covenant, let us take a moment and listen to this beautiful hymn as we prepare to welcome Andrea to the font. You may be seated for this moment of reflection.
Now I welcome up Andrea and her family and her sponsors and godparents. Andrea, Jessica, Jeffrey. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I sign you with the cross, and I mark you as God's own forever. Let us take a moment and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you by water and the Spirit you have bestowed upon this, your servant, the forgiveness of sins. And you have raised her to new life and grace. Sustain her, O Lord, by your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning mind and heart, the courage to will and to persevere, and a spirit to know and love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receive the light of Christ to show that you have passed from darkness to light. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I invite you to turn towards face the congregation. All of us together, let us welcome the newly baptized. As we welcome her together, we say, we receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. May the peace, I invite you all to stand. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, also with you. and I invite you to just turn to each other and greet each other with a bow or with a wave, acknowledging the Christ in each of us. You may be seated. say together, glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, 
forever and ever. Amen. Now, just before we go, just a, a few words to, to share with all of our guests how it is we exit our holy space in these times. After the crucifer and I leave, a sides person will come and direct each pew row by row to exit, and we're going to exit right out the side door. We're going to go directly down the stairs and out into the parking lot. We know that you all wish to gather and greet one another, but at this time we just remind you of the restrictions that we have placed upon and just ask that people be safe as they greet each other in the parking lot and try to remain a distance from each other as well. And again, just we're so sorry we cannot have this regular time of fellowship. But we know that you could always call the baptismal family and express your greetings and in other types of ways as well. And as always, I'm always available if anyone which wishes to reach out to me, since we cannot have this regular time of greeting and leaving. And it just as a final reminder that there is no singing for our closing hymn. We will have a singer, but only, but everyone else, we sing in our hearts. On this joyful day, let us go out recognizing and remembering that the joy that God has put into our hearts. May the peace which passes all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and with you now and forevermore.